So what's in the bag? Well, it's the Chameleon F Loop 3. It's a magnetic loop antenna and we're going to put it on the air today. The F Loop 3 might be a little bit different than most of the other antennas that you're accustomed to normally deploying, but magnetic loop antennas are quite interesting and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this fun antenna coming up. So what's the deal with magnetic loop antennas? Well, basically, a magnetic loop antenna, instead of a traditional antenna that uses the electrical energy, the electrical component of RF energy, the magnetic loop utilizes the H field or the magnetic fields of your of RF energy. And there's a couple of advantages to that. One is, is that you can have a relatively compact antenna. So instead of long, chunks of resonant wire that we're deploying, uh, we can have, a, we can have a, a small compact resonant antenna that takes up this tiny little footprint. Another advantage of using the magnetic field instead of the electrical field is we can reduce man-made interference. So if we're in high noise environments, uh, like an urban area or, or whatnot, uh, the magnetic loop antenna will help reduce that noise and you can pick signals out uh, a lot easier. It's a very it's a favorite antenna uh, for apartment or condo dwellers for that reason, because you don't need a whole lot of space to set it up and you can get you can get rid of a lot of that that man-made noise. And third, it's a directional antenna. <laughs> so uh, this antenna will, um, it, 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 its major lobes are off the plane of this loop. So I've got this antenna set up east-west, so hopefully uh, we, get our, we, we get our highest um, amount of signals we're going to receive are from the east into the, into the west of us. So uh, let's kind of look at the parts of the antenna and um, we'll talk about a couple of the limitations. So uh, first off is the small loop here. The coax comes up, we've got an RF choke, and uh, it feeds, your RF energy feeds into this small six and a half inch loop, which then is induced into this larger loop that's made out of LMR 400 coax that's fed into this box right here, this box has a tuning capacitor in it. There's a knob on the front so that we can use an antenna analyzer, SWR bridge or something like that to, find, to tune the resonant frequency that we are gonna be operating on. Uh, which kind of brings us to the limitations of this antenna. First is power output. Uh, because this is an air capacitor inside here, you're not going to be able to use this with a lot of power. Otherwise, you're going to get arcing along the, the plates of the capacitor. So uh, this antenna is rated for 20 watts sideband, uh, 10 watts CW and digital. Uh, and most magnetic loops antennas of that style are usually have a power limit of around 20, 25 watts phone operation. Uh, you, there are magnetic loop antennas that will go up to much higher uh, uh, RF energy levels, 100 watts and even higher, and they utilize uh, vacuum capacitors that can handle that, that, that greater amount of um, electrical energy without, without arcing, unlike like air capacitors do. Uh, the second is the bandwidth. Uh, these antennas have a very high Q or quality factor, so they've got a sharp bandwidth. Uh, you get more bandwidth in the upper bands, like 10 and 15 meters, and to a certain extent, the 20 meter bandwidth. When you get down to 40 and 80 meters, your bandwidth is just paper thin. Uh, we're just talking like a few kilohertz on the 80 meter band. Uh, so, uh, the, one of the one of the problems with this antenna is that you know if you're on the low bands you're gonna be you really gotta 
commit yourself to a frequency and tune your in, dial it in, because if you go off that frequency by more than a few kilohertz, you're going to have to you're going to have to be retuning the antenna. Um, Ten or fifteen meters, you've got a much larger window to work with, so you can you can move around a little bit more if you if you need to. Uh, makes it more you know so something like that would make it maybe maybe a better choice for CW operation than it would for phone operation if you had to kind of find that ideal spot to operate from and I think those lim those two limitations the power and the um, and the bandwidth are why people think that this is a compromised antenna and it really isn't a compromised antenna it is a very efficient antenna and it works very well within the within the parameters of which it is designed so for QRP operation you know you're going to get you're going to have you're going to have fairly good luck with this uh, actually and uh, it, despite its its uh, tight bandwidth so, enough of me talking about the, the magnetic loop antennas. Uh, let's get it tuned up for the 15 meter band and put it on the air. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a little switch here, 30 through 10 meters and 80 and 40 through 80 meters, uh, just two different ranges on this particular capacitor. And I'm not sure where I need to be. So, I'm just slowly turning the dial right now, see if I can find the dip. I found it. See, we're starting to drop. Now, there is a, a reduction drive on this capacitor, but you still have to turn the knob really, really slow. And I'll just step away for a second. 1.9 to 1. See if I can find that sweet spot. There we go. All right, and we're down to 1.5 to 1 on the 15 meter band. You can see on the meter that bandwidth is, it's tight, um, but um, not terribly bad. We've got enough bandwidth here, um, probably. We got about, it looks like we got about 150 kilohertz of, of bandwidth here. So plenty on the upper end of the 15 meter band. We'll be able to function here without having to retune the antenna on this band. So. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Kilo Juliet 5, India, X-ray, X-ray. Kilo Juliet 5, India, X-ray, X-ray 5, 5, Wisconsin, US 4310, back to you. Okay, uh, you're actually about a 4343 San Antonio. I think we're just a little too close, but I uh, got you. Yeah, roger that. I think it's, um, I got a magnetic loop antenna. It's pointed east-west, so um, you're on the broad side of me. So that's probably why I'm weak into Texas. <laughs> All right, man, appreciate it. Love the channel. and say out of Satan for me. Will do, will do. You have a great day in 7-3. All right, 7-3, much. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air. QRZ. Kilo Echo, Echo 2, Bravo Alpha, Kilo Echo 2, Bravo Alpha Tango, Kilo Echo 2, Bravo Alpha Tango, Nice 5 5, Wisconsin, US 4310, back to you. Right, I got your 5 9, 5 9 into US 2070, 2070, Hector State Park. Okay, Roger, the US 2070, you have a great activation today. Big fan of yours. Take care, 73. <laughs> you too. Have, take care, 73. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo. Parks on the air. QRZ. Whiskey 4, Whiskey Delta Kilo. Whiskey 4, Whiskey Delta Kilo. You're a big 5-9 Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Roger that, 5-9. <coughs> Victor Alpha. Have a great day, 73. Thanks a lot for Virginia. You have a great day, 73. KB9 VBR. Parks on the air. QRZ. Kilo Alpha, Alpha India Alpha, Quebec. Alpha India 6, uh, Alpha Quebec, uh, 53 Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Thanks for the 53. Uh, you're 55 California, and I'm trying the uh, Poda Performer on the patio. Uh, thanks a lot, 73. All right. Well, thanks for the California. I love the Poda Performer. That's one of my favorites. So it's working for you. Uh, thanks a lot for the contact. 
Seven, please. KB9 VBR, Parks on your last call. Whiskey 7, Alpha Tango Papa. Whiskey 7, Alpha Tango Papa, got you. 57 Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Hey, thanks for the 57, Michael. I got you uh, 5 and 3 here, uh, Whiskey Alpha. All right, well, thanks a lot for Washington today. You have a great day, 7 3. Hey, you as well, thanks a lot. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo. Parks on the air. Last call, 15 meters. All right, we're going to move on down to 20. So on um, BQRT 15, this is KB9 VBR. Ooh, 34 in the log on the 15 meter band. How long did that take me? We're on for about a half hour. So it's. Not bad. <laughs> Bands have been kind of up and down this week. A little better than they were yesterday and the day before, but um, not bad. We'll get this antenna retuned for 20 meters and um, we'll finish out the activation. The Mead Wildlife Area in central Wisconsin encompasses over 33,000 acres of marshes, aspen, forests, and grasslands. It has an extremely diverse wildlife population with over 267 bird species documented on the property. But the history of the area goes back to the last ice age with native peoples occupying the landscape over 11,000 years ago to some more recent activities of fur trading, logging, farming, and recreation. But let's get back on the air on the 20 meter band. Okay, the Kilo Echo 8. Kilo Echo 8, Yankee Delta, Quebec. Kilo Echo 8, Yankee Delta, Quebec, 5-9, Wisconsin, U.S. 4310. Back to you. QSL, Michael, I have you 5-9 both ways into Ohio. All right, thanks for Ohio today. You have a great day in 7-3. 7-3. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo 3, Sierra Delta Mike, Park, Park. Kilo 3, Sierra Delta Mike, gotcha. 5-8, Wisconsin, US 4310. Back to you. Yeah, thank you. You're also 5-9 New York. Uh, three have park seven numbers three. for you. First park, US 2253, that's 2253. Kilo 3, Kilo 5 that's 4572, last park 10180. Again, again, 10180. Kilo Alpha 3, Lima, Kilo, Mexico. All right, I got the US 2253, US 4572, and US 10180. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Michael. Thank you so much for picking me up. I appreciate it. Good luck today, 73. You too. You have a great activation, 73. Um, I'm going to try to move. I think I'm going to move down a couple KC. I got a DX station, it sounds like, in the background. November 3, Echo Delta Oscar, park to park. November 3, Echo Delta Oscar. I got you. 57 Wisconsin, U.S. 4310, back to you. Copy the 5-7, uh, and I've got you as a 5-5 into my park. US 7645, 7645 in Delaware, Delta Echo, roger, roger. Roger the 7645 in Delaware. You have a great activation today. Yes, and thank you for activating as well. Appreciate it. You have a great one, 73. 7-3, <laughs> take care. Whiskey 3, Juliet, Papa, Victor. Whiskey 3, Juliet, Papa, Victor, gotcha. 5-8, Wisconsin, US 4310, back to you. Uh, QSL, you're 57 into New Jersey. Thanks for activating, 73. All right, well, hey, thanks for New Jersey today. You have a great day, 73. Kilo Bravo Zero, Delta Oscar Delta. Kilo, uh, Kilo Bravo Zero, Delta Oscar Delta, 59 Wisconsin, US 4310, back to you. Uh, Roger, Roger, you're just above my noise, but I'll give you about a 5 4 Missouri. All right, well, thanks a lot for Missouri today. You have a great day in 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo Delta 2, Alpha Golf Whiskey. Kilo Delta 2, Alpha Golf Whiskey, 5-7 Wisconsin, U.S. 4310, back to you. 
Oh, 71 in the log. So it was about 35 on the 20 meter band and 35 or 36 on the 20 meter band and 35 on 15 meters. So not a bad afternoon. Now, I did say earlier that this a magnetic loop antennas are not a compromised antenna. And as a concept, that is true. They are um, a very good antenna. Uh, what, but what happens with them is their efficiency will drop as you go down in frequency and because it's a factor of the loop, the size of the loop in comparison, uh, the inductance loop in comparison to the, uh, the radiating loop. And if you can make these, this loop larger, you can increase the bandwidth slightly and also increase its efficiency slightly. Uh, but otherwise, they are on the upper bands, excellent antennas, but as you go down in frequency, you will notice a bit of that, that, efficiency, that efficiency drop. And we saw that a little bit today. Now the bands weren't the best. Uh, the last few days we've been just dealing with a very high amount of solar activity. Friday here, when I'm recording this, is probably <laughs> one of the best days of the week uh, when it comes to uh, a solar activity. And um, a very good, we had very good performance on the 15 meter band. I pulled out about 35 contacts in a half hour, uh, dropping down to 20 meters. Had a lot, a little bit more noise um, just because of the, the, the band conditions. Uh, had to deal with uh, moving around a little bit. You don't get a whole lot of wiggle room <laughs> you know, with these antennas. So um, once I picked the frequency, I had to, I had to stay, you know, just, uh, you know, within my bandwidth limits. Uh, so I didn't have to retune the antenna, uh, but um, just to find an empty spot was a little bit more of a challenge on the 20 meter band with the magnetic loop antenna. So it was about 40 minutes. We got another 35 contacts there, but nonetheless still uh, worked really well uh, for this activation. And I'm glad I got it out again. I like using this antenna. Uh, questions, comments about the magnetic loop antenna. I did a review of this chameleon F loop three about a year ago. I'll put a link in the video description below if you want to learn more about chameleons F loop three. But otherwise, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day and seven three.